Hello everyone and welcome to episode 18 of my Super Junior series and today is another Super Junior DNE album review and it's all about Write Me. So DNE, they are my biases in Suju and just diving into the music is making me so happy and just um, seeing this other side to themselves is so good to see and just making me love them more and also i feel like in their own personal music they have understood what really works well with their voices and their style of singing and they're really experimenting with that with different styles and different genres and i really love it there's this youthful aspect to them but not in a um you know, too young for them way more like it's it feels fresh, you know. When it comes to super juniors music, there's this sense of maturity that goes along with their music. But now when it's just the two of them, there's something so um fresh, so new, so youthful about the two of them. I love the energy, I love the chemistry between them, and it's like they really understood their musical senses and they just made it in a way that they are um how can i say this just pushing forward the best in each other and that's really what i love um don't get somebody that has such a unique tone of voice that I always feel like there's certain style of music that really suits him. But what he does in the subunit is really push the boundaries into the styles and different stuff that he does. And I really love the fact that he's not just doing one thing, you know. Um, they are the rappers in Suju, but in their own little subunit, they become vocalists. They are rappers. They, they just do so many different things in their own little unit that I really love. I feel like I am seeing different sides of them as I progress through their albums, which, granted, they have plenty of lines in the group, but it's different when it's just the two of them because they have a special chemistry that can really be explored in their subunit. When it comes to this album in particular, I feel like it was such a solid one. Um, I really like the songs. Um, I love the energy. I love the melody. I love uh, the different style they went into. There's so many catchy choruses in there. The production is insane. And once again, I was just amazed by how talented the two of them are. When it comes to specific favorite i have three of them that are the best songs in this album in my personal opinion starting with my number three hello
That was my third favorite. I love the song so much. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning that this is actually a Japanese album. And um, some of the songs in there I heard before, like their Korean versions. Um, but I still enjoy them in this context. When it comes to this song, I feel like it really embodies what I said previously um, on the fact that two of them they give up this youth, youthful vibe and you can clearly feel it with this song in particular it's like it's so fresh it's fun it's playful and you still get your dne and i just love that so much that they are able to just give up give off so many different vibes like they can be serious when they need to be they can um be playful when they need to be and it's the fact that they are such amazing artists they can really adapt to different type of vibe they want to give and you as a listener you actually just feel it you know and I really, really love that. My second favorite in this album is Love That I Need.
that was my second favorite in this album. I just love the song. It's so catchy. It's so beautiful. And I love it. It's easy to fall in love with. It's one of those songs that are so easy to listen to. You will be just stuck in that moment. You can listen to the song 200 times in a row and still be happy the next time it plays like it's so good and i don't think i will ever be tired of the song it's beautiful the boys did wonderfully well with this and i really enjoy it now my number one in this album is a song that i heard before but i really love this japanese version of it and that is opa opa ah how do you Welcome to the Super Show. Let's go. My name is Tommy. Let's party tonight. Oh, 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 That was my favorite song in this album, Opa Opa. I love the song so much. For me, this is what a classic is. Like when you think of a DNA, this is definitely one of their songs. Like, um, aside my favorite DNA song, which is Growing Pains, I don't know if they will ever be able to top that song. But Opa Opa is definitely a close second. It's fun. It's good. It's catchy. What else do you need? Like, I love the song. It's a classic. I don't care how many versions of it they make. It will always be part of my favorite DNA songs. So that's it for this album. I really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend. Um, it just made me fall in love with them even more. And I'm super excited for what they have uh going on with the next album and 
I am so excited to go into those albums because they are my biases, because they are so, so talented, and also because since I started this whole D and E um, dive, I've I've been nothing but amazed in each and every time. So I get really excited when it's time to get into the next album. Let me know in the comments what were your favorite songs. In this particular album, what's your favorite album and song when it comes to DNE and all that good stuff? If you want more DNE or just more Super Junior in general, I have a dedicated playlist just for them that you can check out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you very soon.